Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and dive into Yoast. Now, you need to log into your WordPress backend, uh, the administration portion of your website or blog, and you're going to want to go to plugins and add new. Now, I do have it installed on mine, but I just want to walk you through the process. So, we are going to do a search over here for Yoast and it should pop up here along with a few others that want to do a tag along and um, lots of developers will add Yoast to their thing they'll even add the icons but what you're going to want to look for is this Yoast SEO by Team Yoast and you can see the reviews that are here the number of active installed so this is the legit deal but I wanted to go ahead and show you what it's going to look like whenever you install it so that you won't install like a clone nothing against the clones you know there are some good Yoast add-ons and some good Yoast alternatives but if you're going to install the real deal it's important to you know kind of know what it looks like so under the installed plugins you are going to scroll down and you're going to see it right here Yoast SEO and off to the left hand side underneath you're going to see SEO with a little Yoast logo and you're going to see all of the options that are here now I'm going to leave this up to you to take a look at the options that are here or go to other YouTube videos that will discuss uh, this plugin in more details. What I wanted to get into is just dive into what it's going to look like once you uh, install it onto your computer. So let's close this tab and let's take a look at my blog posts. Now as you can see uh, I am into the all posts and what Yoast does is it adds two more columns to your posts and it's going to involve your SEO, your search engine optimization, and your readability. Now I'm going to focus on one of these posts that has green lights on both the SEO and the both readability. And that is off of a project that I did of Singing Under the Overpass, Singing in the Rain. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. Now the nice thing about it is that Yoast guides you through the process of creating an SEO friendly um, blog post or article. Uh, the first thing that you are going to see if you haven't already activated it is the readability or this this portion right here um, and what you're going to want to do if you don't see your Yoast options already within your post you're going to want to go to your screen options and then go ahead and find the option of being able to see your Yoast SEO which is right here. If you don't have this checked you won't see it but in any case all you have to do is just check it and then uh, go ahead and collapse that menu. But you can see it right up in here but this is the main portion that we're going to get into. Here is your Yoast SEO spot right here and it has a couple of different tabs. You have your readability tab which guides you through the process of making sure that everything is very SEO friendly. Um, as you can see I've got a little red um, warning here telling me that I'm using a transition word or phrase which in modern English we do use a lot of this stuff but it isn't really interfering with the readability. Uh, there are not enough points to really knock me off and um, we can take a look at those and depending upon your posts you are going to see either everything in the green or, ever, or some things in the red or some things in the yellow and um, it will guide you through the steps of being able to work. Now the keyword and this is the main thing that you can work with what I have got as my keyword phrase is singing in the rain so once you input your focus keyword what it's going to start doing this plugin is it's going to start looking at your post and it's going to start looking for that particular keyword and making sure that it's going to um, show up in a nice search engine optimization way so 
we I put this in here and it's giving me an analysis of all of these things now as you can see I still have some some particular portions that I probably need to work on but I'm not um, if I was really hot on getting this post up in the rankings of search engine I may go ahead and work on this and it's completely up to you for me I'm on the green light and for this particular post and for this particular function everything works exactly the way that I want it to do so um, the focus keyword does not appear in the URL for this page so you can change that right up in here we're sort of familiar if we're familiar with WordPress I could go ahead and go back in here and put singing uh, dash in dash dash the dash rain you could do that but I'm leaving it just as it is because I've already shared this page and I don't want to knock the links off but in any case it goes through the process it goes through all of these things um, it walks you through and again I could show you exactly how to do everything, make this video nice and long, but really um, once you download it, it is really very manageable and very easy to do. You're going to grasp the concepts very quickly on how to um, get your particular blog post or article up and running. Now this is a thing that is really cool. Um, you can change how this is going to look within a search. Um, this is exactly how it is going to look whenever I search for it on Google. Singing in the rain, vertical bar, and we have all of this. And you can edit your snippets, and you do that by clicking on this. And it see, this is the cool thing about it, is it gives you uh, this guide on making sure that you put in no more or no less words than is available. Now as you can see all of my things don't have any um, dots after them stating that there are more. Everything here is it shows up exactly within the search results and and that I think to me is a very is very important. I don't want to look at a search result and think well is there more that I need to look at I want to make sure that everything is there and it guides you through and make sure that your keyword or your keyword phrase is within the SEO title and your meta description you could go through all of this stuff and the nice thing about it is it also gives you up in here it gives you a mobile preview and it gives you a desktop preview so you can take a look and see how things are going to look so this is the mobile view of how things are going to look I'm pretty close to the end on this one and as you can see it's a little different well now it's about the same I take that back but in essence you're able to um, effectively change or make sure that things look just the same as in mobile as they do in the desktop version but once again this stuff once you get in here it is really going to guide you and it's really going to challenge you to think with regard to how a search engine thinks now everything is in the green light here and if we take a look at this social area if things if you want things to look one way in a search engine and things to look a little bit different within your social media like your Facebook and Twitter account then you've got this option here you can create your Facebook title your Facebook decision uh, description and you can even change the image um, different from the featured image that you've got here you can even change that you can even get into changing it within your Twitter title Twitter description or Twitter image you can get into all of these now I've chosen to keep everything the same so what I want to show you is what is this going to look like whenever I share it to my Facebook page is it going to look exactly like this or is it going to look a little bit different so we're going to scroll back up and I want to let's see move to trash let's go ahead and take a look at the URL see what this post looks like singing in the rain day 321 okay so this is what it's going to look like at least from this particular standpoint um, so let's go ahead and share it 
Well, wait a minute, I want to backtrack here just a second. We're going to go ahead and open this up in another window because I want you to see how things are going to look whenever you edit the sniblet and how things are going to look whenever you um, post it onto Facebook. So we're sharing it to Facebook. So if we look, here's my image that's here. And this is just using all of the stuff within the blog post. Um, I haven't done anything special with the Facebook. But I wanted you to take a look at what things are looking like here. So we got Singing in the Rain. Um, if we edit the sniblet, um, Singing in the Rain, listen, help a critter, and donate. But if we look at it, it's the exact same title the exact same description. That's the nice thing about Yoast is that it changes this. And this is the important thing. I mean, equally important is getting your keyword found within your keyword working within your post to be able to get this post up in the SEO portions of it. But also equally important is I want this thing to look a specific way within my different search media. And Facebook is my social media of choice. So we're looking at it like this. Um, and this is how it looks and you can change the title and change your description making sure that it all fits uh, making sure that there aren't any things that are missing so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here I'm gonna have to leave it and get out of this and in any case you can edit the snippet. that's the nice thing about it but in any event I would say that if you are going through your blogs, you're going through your articles, and you're wanting to find a good SEO tool, I would highly suggest getting into Yoast. And um, it is just an incredible piece of plug-in tech that really is going to help you out and get your voice heard within your particular niche. And um, of course, along with that, if your posts are seen with, uh, in front of the right people, you are going to hopefully earn a little bit of extra money or get your voice out here or whatever your motives are in this area. Okay, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, please like, share, and subscribe.